Should be indeed, yeah. I mean, both both these archers uh, arguably ranked fairly low uh, compared to what you expect them to do. I mean, Patrick uh, ranked 37th. Um, I don't think he, I don't believe he shot that great in qualification. Uh, Lucas, it was a challenging day. The yeah, it was a challenging with a lot of wind. Uh, Lucas Daniel uh, qualifying down in 30th position. So they've had to win a, win some good matches on their on their routes to the final. Um, so, yeah, it's not beyond the realm of opportunity here for either archers to uh, to prove, uh, prove some good shooting. But uh, the crowd is going uh, pretty wild here for uh, Patrick Houston. Um, he does, uh, as we were explaining in the team round earlier, he does enjoy these uh, these moments, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he really gets energy from this, and I think that's what what makes him such a good shooter at these tournaments. Yeah. How do you think uh, Lucas Daniel uh, copes into these types of things? Do you know him well? Or? I, I know him just from the competitions that I shoot with him, but um, I don't think he's faced much by the, the home crowd advantage that Patrick has. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, we um, we witnessed the uh, the Russians shooting off against uh, Great Britain in the uh, in the team uh, match earlier on, yeah. and I mean the Russians clearly coped with it very well. It was a close match, yeah, but yeah, that was a really they good just match. seemed to just carry on shooting well, and that's the kind of mentality that uh, uh, Daniel uh, Lucas Daniel needs to uh, to adopt here. Um, he will shoot first, so he has the opportunity to put Patrick under a bit of pressure. But uh, this will be an interesting match. So let's see where Daniel's sight is lying. Eight left. Yeah, his shot went off the left because he, he corrected his shot to the right. Okay. So uh, it doesn't come as a surprise. No, Patrick fully expects him to uh, take advantage of that. Might be a 10, but it looks <laughs> like it's just yeah. that. I'm going to call that a nine. Uh, Naomi is watching with uh, with intent at the edge <laughs> of her seat. Naturally, her teammate's up there just yards away from her on the stage. Better yeah. shot. Good nine. Better shot, still left. Yeah, um, still left. So uh, I have been explaining all weekend that the uh, the wind tends to push them right to left on this stage. And obviously, uh, Patrick's been up here already today, so maybe the advantage is falling there. Good 10 from him. Look at him, Gene, up the crowd. Yeah, that was what I was explaining earlier. He just, like, he, he enjoys this so much. He's getting so much energy from the crowd, and he uses it to his full ability. Mm. Over correction there, George has called it a nine. Um, as we explained, he has the, uh, the, the advantage of a scope, but uh, uh, just a solid shot here from Patrick. He's taking this first set, 10. I mean, that's some great shooting from him. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's impressive how we can uh, shoot under all uh, this pressure. So. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, like I say, he does enjoy Gene up the crowd. Um, I mean, if I was putting my unbiased hat on, I, I'd say that's uh, slightly disrespectful for the French archer. Um, like I say, I, I am obviously a fan of the British, uh, the British team, and I want them to succeed. But um, I wouldn't. I don't really like what Patrick's done there. But it's not the end of the world. It's uh, it's interesting, and it makes this uh, makes this sport a bit more enjoyable to watch. Um, does, yeah. Lucas Daniel, uh, he seems like a confident fellow though, so I don't uh, does, expect yeah. that that uh, affected him much. In fact, maybe that's motivated him to, uh, to put Patrick in his place, who knows? So uh, Maybe, yeah. Some good shooting from Patrick in that first end though. Um, at least a 10 10 9, it may have even been upgraded to a 30, which is uh, a great start for him. Um, pretty interesting for them both to be facing each other as well. So, Lucas Daniel, see if he can uh, find the middle now. Does look a little motivated there in the face, doesn't he? Eight left again. Seems like his aiming is just a bit off, and it might yeah. be the tension that his his arm is just not as still as it used to be in the in the other eliminations. Okay. He's taking his time here, Patrick. This is a long shot. Good. Zero, Probably it's a ten line. still, yeah. Uh, George has called it a ten. It's fairly close to the line, but it's... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in there. Yeah, three quarters of the shaft in there. Uh, just Lucas just seems to be, hasn't seemed to have just found it yet. Does he? He's going left, right, left, right. Uh, he's got the height right, but he's, uh, he's nearly there. 
Nice. Still a good shot. Yeah, Patrick is just shooting good shots. Nothing outside, uh, you know, nine and a half, if that makes sense. You know, everything is mm. uh, the inner nine or more. It's just really great oh. shooting. And not a bad shot, but mm. when you shoot two H, you, yeah, you're kind of doomed mm. when you're shooting against uh, someone of this caliber. Patrick doesn't seem to be shooting badly at all, does he? Uh, can I, I can't see the Frenchman coming back from uh, from this, but I mean, he's shot an eight now, so. No, he is uh, human, I guess. <laughs> uh, he has taken that set, though, even with that eight. Uh, obviously, yeah, the Frenchman, Daniel, has uh, shot a couple of eights in that set. Um, hasn't really turned up to this match yet, uh, whereas uh, Patrick uh, was started the match firing on all cylinders. So um, we'll see if, uh, see if Daniel can find the middle now. I wouldn't write him off just yet. I wouldn't write him off at all, no. Um, I mean, there is uh, obviously a, a danger of uh, Patrick getting a little complacent, possibly, in the latter stages of this match. He's, uh, he is one set away from winning, yeah. obviously. Um, and it's quite easy to uh, to sit back and just, yeah. you know. Yeah, the pressure is definitely on the Frenchman on this yeah. one. Um, how Lucas uh, Daniel will cope with that uh, is yet to be seen, but he, uh, oi, oi, he has to shoot this. Oi, he has to shoot this set well. Oi, oi, oi. So important set here for the Frenchman has has to has to at least well say at least win has to win it otherwise uh, he's he going to leave himself uh, with a massive mountain to climb. He needs to find the middle now. Hasn't found it yet. He's just shot, but just out. Yeah. The I mean the height of his arrows all seem to be fairly similar. Yeah. So I mean yeah. is it just a uh, a windage issue, it's yes. a left and right issue, is it, um, well, it's it's left it and right might, issue, might is it down be, yeah. to his sight or is it down to his shooting? I'm guessing it's down to his shooting because his... Yeah, there that's we better. go, yeah, his, his bow jumped straight out of his hand on this shot and it didn't on the previous shot, okay. so you could definitely see some movement in there. Okay. And that meant that something was wrong in his technique. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know Patrick can shoot eights. Uh, let's just see if he can Long maintain shot. his... Uh, oh, just out. Yeah. So, um, advantage Daniel in this set, and he has an opportunity to come from behind here. Uh, a 10, and he's taken this set. Uh, he can shoot eights, but we know... Uh, Not a bad shot. A um, for Patrick to yeah. tie this set. We know that Daniel's still in this match, and then we will be shooting another set. It's just whether he goes into the final, uh, final set with a point or with two points. A nine here, and uh, Daniel wins the set. And it is a nine, it's just out. It's uh, not a bad end, it's, it's just that they're just out. Yeah. He's showing the crowd too, like they're just out, and they yeah. were the bad shot. Yeah, sometimes you can just be a little bit unlucky, I guess, in this game. And uh, like I say, Daniel... Uh, if you see beyond, you know the clock, <laughs> Still you chanting from the stage. If you see beyond, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you be on, you know it, clap your hands. I'm wondering if he came up with this on the stage or before he went <laughs> on the stage. I think uh, these chants have been uh, been sang all week. Um, he had a uh, good 30 odd people standing behind him in the yeah. uh, in these uh, Olympic uh, shootoffs earlier, um, which he obviously uh, he, he came away with a spot um, in a bronze medal match. So. Uh, but yeah, all of these kind of chants were being sung behind him. Yeah. So, uh, I yeah. didn't necessarily mean if he came up with the, with the chants, but more of it with the, the yeah. idea to sing them on the stage. Sing them on the stage. Uh, I think uh, I think Patrick just kind of uh, does what he wants, kind of bloke sometimes. <laughs> um, but we can't forget about Daniel uh, Lucas Daniel here. He's uh, he's clawed his way back into this match. Um, he's uh, like I say, he's found the middle now. And uh, if he wins this set, he can tie the match up and really make the last set interesting. It's nine. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. Really, uh, it's, a, it's an out to nine, but still a nine. Nines are okay. Patrick is shooting some tens, though. Nice. So a nine as well. Pretty good. Naomi urging uh, Patrick to move his side. <laughs> 
Daniel. Needs to find a 10 again. Still a little bit high. Would you be moving your site now, or is that just a bit of uh, sort of aggression, well, pushing them high, possibly? Yeah, yeah I think that's the case. Um, I'm guessing a little bit too strong. Okay, so it's getting tense towards the end of this. Uh, Daniel really has to shoot a 10 yeah. now. 10 to stay in the match, in my opinion. And High nine, nine again. So Patrick needs only a nine to win this. A nine to win and this to bronze medal. Medal on his European Championships in his home country. Bit taking shaking. his time, taking his time. It's not looking great, possibly. Yeah. Oh, it's nearly a 10. Fantastic shooting from Patrick. Oh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. He did shoot well in that match. Uh, fully deserved that bronze medal. Uh, he needs to embrace uh, Daniel there. He's, uh, he turned up for the match. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's see what he does here. He's probably going to G up the crowd a little bit more, I'm sure. If he gets the chance, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Posing for the paparazzi there. Uh, he's obviously clearly happy with it. Very successful week, I think, for Patrick. Uh, obviously, he got his uh, Olympic spot. He was uh, shooting off in the gold medal match uh, earlier on today, which he was unlucky to, uh, they were unlucky to uh, not win. And uh, now he has his bronze medal as well. <laughs> Thanking the crowd there. Good stuff from him. He is a crowd pleaser in all fairness, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Fair play. And the crowd pleases him as well. Yeah, exactly. So um, that we're nearly at the end of this uh, championship. We have one more match to go. Uh